All right, peace and blessings to all the guys and the goddesses, man, kings and queens, emperors and empresses, man. So, you know, I just got to come on here, you know what I mean, and, and express how I'm feeling right now. It's, um, it's time to just to, 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 to fix this shit. All right, it's, it's, time, it's time to fix it, man. You know, when, when you go out in the world and you see the stuff that's going on in the world and people waking up every day just like it's okay, that shit is, that shit is sad, man. You know, like, the type of person I am, I'm really, like, introverted, extroverted. So, it's like, I can see stuff and then not address it, you know what I mean? But then it bothers me, you know what I mean, when, when, when I really sit down and I think about it. And I be trying to, like, put myself into other people's shoes to understand, like, why they don't, why they don't think about this stuff, man? You know? And it's like, the milk is spilled. You know what I mean? Ain't no point of crying over spilled milk, pointing hands, pointing fingers. He did it, she did it, this race did it, this species did it, this was going on, all the world messed up. It's like... Everybody just want to say the world messed up, but don't nobody want to fix it. Everybody want to say the milk is spilled, but don't nobody want to clean it up. They're going to they gonna damn near let it spoil and let it rot before they clean it up. And it's like, nah, man. I got If, if ain't nobody going to say it, I'm going to say it, man. Just clean it up. You see what I'm saying? Just fix it. People, people, people out here stressing and, and, and going through depression and anxiety for some stuff that we can just come together as a people and fix and heal. You see what I'm saying? It's like everybody got blood on their hands, bro. You know what I mean? There's nobody out here. There's no race out here. There's no species out here that can walk around and try to act like, oh, they perfect. They holier than thou. And they never did no wrong to nobody. And they shouldn't be going through what they're going through. Can't nobody do that. The faster we realize the law of one is real and that we're all together and we all living out here. We all different walks of the earth. The faster that we can get to a higher level of consciousness. It's like people not seeing the bigger goal. It's like people not seeing the bigger picture. People are, are selfish and stuck within them own selves. Only where about themselves you see what i'm saying and we can't rock like that that's not that's not how it's going to work that's not how we're going to ascend you see what i'm saying we we have to be able to to realize that there's a problem whether we did it or not or rather somebody else did it or not and and care more about the future of the generations and the kids that's coming after us and the families that's coming after us to where it's like all right we're going to stop fighting so that we can better the world you know what i mean we're going we're going to stop all the pointing fingers so we can better the world because the law of correspondence really sits heavy with me. You know what I mean? As above, so below, as within, so without. You know, and I really have a, a, a grasp of the concept of we are the universe experiencing itself. So it's like everything that I, I can look at into the world, I can see a reflection of them. Like I can see how that could be me. You see what I'm saying? Like, I can run into somebody that's dumb drunk, and then I can say, like, damn, so that's how I looked that day I was dumb drunk. You see what I'm saying? I can, I can see somebody that's being cocky or arrogant and be like, okay, so that's how I was being. You know what I mean? So I'm saying that to say that when we look into the world, you know what I mean, and we can see the problems that are going on in the world, we have to realize as individuals that we are looking at reflections of ourselves, and that means that as a species, like, some people got their shit together on certain levels. You see what I'm saying? We're talking about as a whole that there's a there's a battle within you know and the ultimate battle right now is the is the balance of energies man the balance of masculine and feminine energy the divine masculine and the divine feminine respecting each other it's been so much disrespect coming from both sides that the, the balance is just way off men are super feminine and emasculated these days and women are super aggressive and, and masculine and, and that's not how it works so when and when you can see that it trickles down from the top and it trickles from inside the house to the street you can see it you see what I'm saying? You can literally walk into the world right now and see that the average person has a battle within themselves and not understanding themselves, not understanding knowledge of thyself, not understanding their energies, not understanding polarities, not understanding correspondence. You can see it just by looking into the world. And it's a major problem. You see what I'm saying? That's why we push the shit that we push on this page. That's why we push wellness. That's why we push mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, and financial health, because that's what you need. When you strive every day to be healthy on all accords, then you have no choice but to be successful. It's like um, T.D. Jake said. He said, man, when you're when you, when you chasing your destiny, you have no choice but to escape your past. When, you, when you're moving forward, you have no choice but to escape the past. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't think people really get how much our, our personal lives affect the grand 
You know what I mean? That when we're walking around and we're emitting energies into the world, like people that talk down on people to try to make themselves feel good, that could be a domino effect. You see what I'm saying? Not could. It be a domino effect. You, the person that does, that's bullying or talking down on somebody, that person can go home and, and bully and talk down on, on their sibling or their family member. Then, they, then that person has kids and they do the same. It's a trickle effect. You know what I mean? Excuse me. It's like somebody driving through traffic weaving and yeah they 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 good because they drive and they only worried about themselves but the person behind them just crashed so now the car behind them crashed and the other person like you see what i'm saying now the person that's behind that person is late to work you know what i mean it's like people got to understand this shit man we all affecting each other we all out here you know what i mean and if this is what's going on down here you can only imagine what the hell is going on at the top you see what i'm saying and that's the problem we got to get the wicked out of out of um out of position and we got to put divine in position we gotta we gotta get men back to their divine masculine we gotta get women back to their divine feminine because it seems like at this point both have just said fuck it they don't need each other and that's the cap you know what i mean you can't even be in this realm you can't even be in this existence if you don't combine the energies if 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 man and woman don't come together you're not even born i don't i don't give a fuck how you think of what you're thinking about that's how the fuck you got here that's that's how you're here so the generation that we have right now, the world that we're living in right now, of the divine masculine disrespecting the divine feminine and the divine feminine disrespecting the divine masculine, we're going to keep crashing out and we can't crash out. You see what I'm saying? This shit, this shit is so much deeper than us. You know what I mean? And we live in an instant gratification type of um, society right now. So a lot of people don't even worry about, you know what I mean, other people's emotions and how they feel and how it affects them down the long run they just worried about themselves trying to get rich instant gratification get the fuck up out of here and do what they got to do but you know on the grand scale on a on a on a bigger picture type of view you know what i mean we fucking up generations man you know what i mean us the ones that's out here doing this shit right now we affecting the the choices that we're making right now are affecting motherfuckers that are going to be born in 2040 2050 they don't even know they just floating around in the astral realm some damn where or whatever the fuck but we we are making the choices that are going to affect their lives and when you really understand that and you really get to thinking like that you know what i mean you you step out of out of selfishness and you start you start trying to live more for for everybody you know what I mean? You can't save the world, but God damn it, you, you can be a good example in this motherfucker. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's crazy, you know? And I just be wanting to express, you know, because I post a lot of crazy shit, you know what I mean? But the shit that I post is to, it's to get a motherfucker to think, you know what I mean? It's like think before they, before they successfully don't allow you to think, you know what I mean? Because it's damn near there. Motherfuckers be really thinking they, that they thinking for themselves, and that's just propaganda that, that you've been watching and seeing and was taught since you was in motherfucking grade school, when you was coming out the womb, you know what I mean? Niggas, niggas don't even know who they really are themselves. They don't really know what they like, you know what I mean? You, you was given a doctrine. You was given a fucking a, a blueprint that they wanted you to follow. And, and, and niggas are wondering why they at war with themselves because niggas don't know themselves. Like, the fact that knowledge of thyself is not taught in school, the fact spirituality is not taught in school, the fact that, you know what I mean, mental health... You know what I mean? It's not taught in school and shit like that as a kid shows you that that's not that wasn't even a priority when they put you in this shit. But then that's the shit that affects you when you become an adult. You know what I mean? When you got to communicate, when you got to be in a relationship, when you got to think outside yourself, when you got to be a father, a husband, a wife, a, a girlfriend, a fucking aunt, a fucking uncle. Like, you know what I mean? When you have to be more than just worried about yourself, they don't teach people these life skills. And that shit is a fucking problem. You know what I mean? And it's, it, got, it became such a problem that it's a detriment, you know what I mean, to, to us, to, to, to the world, man, to everybody that's walking around, breathing, living. It's, it's, it's became a problem. It done fucked up the household. Now that the household is fucked up, the husband and the wives ain't getting along. Kids don't fuck around with their parents, you know what I mean? So the authority structure is fucked up. Now niggas going in the street, they disrespecting the teachers, they disrespecting the cops, they disrespecting, you know what I mean, authority figures because they ain't got, that, they ain't got no respect in the crib. So how do, you, how do you expect them to go into real life and, and, and respect people and communicate with people if it's chaos inside the crib. It's like a lot of niggas want to live in chaos. You see what I'm saying? They don't, they don't, they don't want the order that comes from the chaos. You see what I'm saying? They want to be in the dark. They want to be in the shadows because it's easier. That's the niggas that think ignorance is bliss. And it ain't. You know what I mean? Ignorance is not bliss. That shit, that shit will fucking kill you. You know what I mean? And it's, it's, it's crazy to, to watch the world live in shadows. That shit's crazy. Like, it's like a big-ass illusion. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like niggas... It's, 
it's crazy. It's a big ass illusion though. Like, you know what I mean? Real shit. It's like niggas niggas is just living a facade. If you if you was to really walk up on somebody and be like, yo, if you could if you could have the, your perfect life, if you could get the life you dreamed of, would you be doing what you're doing right now? Nine times out of ten, a nigga gonna say no. You know what I mean? But at a certain age, they give up on themselves. You know, they turn to alcohol, they turn to drugs, they turn to, you know what I mean? All type of shit. You know what I mean? And it's like, we got to stop that shit. We can't, we can't keep allowing this shit to go on for, for more generations. It's like, how long do niggas got to hurt and how long do niggas got to be in pain before they realize the punishment? It's like niggas, just, it's like niggas are addicted to pain. It's like niggas is a, a, addicted to chaos, man. You know what I mean? Don't nobody want to clean up the crib. Everybody just want to party and then leave the crib fucked up. And then have the parents come in and clean the fucking crib. And this shit don't work like that. The generation I come from, you get your ass whooped if the crib ain't clean. You see what I'm saying? Nowadays, they got it. you can't even whoop your kid's ass. You know what I mean? You whoop, you whoop your kid, they're telling you that you're abusive. You know what I mean? There's, there's, no, there's no type of respect. Like, you know what I mean? Kids be cussing at their parents. And, I mean, this shit, this, shit, this, shit really, this shit really wicked. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's really reckless. But you can see that it starts with family structure. All this shit starts at home. You know what I mean? And the family structure starts with the parents, man. And if the and if the if the man and the woman and the woman and the man, the father and the mother, the mother and the father can't get along, how do you expect the kids to get along? So on and so forth. It's a domino effect. And that's what I'm getting at. What I'm really getting at is the domino effect of what's going on in the home between the relationship between the man and the woman. You see what I'm saying? And the energies. And we're not just talking man and we we can step outside of man and woman. I'm talking energies. I'm talking masculine energy and feminine energy. There's a, it's a, it's a, it's an unbalanced. There's a, there's a, there's a war between the two, and that shit is spilling out into the world. You know what I mean? So it's, it's time for the motherfuckers that have the ability to help people and reach out to people to do it, and it's time for the people that are aware that the shit is going on to heal and show other motherfuckers how to heal. You know what I mean? It's like I stress energy on this page all the time. It's, 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 it's energy, man. It's energy. You know what I mean? If you could walk into a room and you could feel that somebody's been arguing, it's because it's fucking negative energy in the room. You see what I'm saying? If you, you could walk into a room and tell when somebody's been happy, like, because it's positive energy in the room. You know what I mean? All this shit is energy. So whatever's going on with you can be fixed through a, either a frequency or an energy. It doesn't, it don't matter what the fuck is going on because that's what we are. That's who we are. We're not, we're not this meat suit, physical body shit that, that we, this like our wit. You know what I mean? For an analogy, it's like our car, like. We driving through life as a as a soul and a spirit. You know, you see what I'm saying? And this is our whip that we're using to do it. You feel what I'm saying? So when you start understanding that, nigga, a lot of our body is water. Water has memory. Your DNA got goddamn generations of memory in that shit. You know what I mean? So you got to start thinking on an energetic level. Like, think about this shit. Like, I'm talking into a phone that's connected to Wi-Fi that I can't fucking see. And I'm about to post this video on a fucking untangible platform, but motherfuckers are going to be able to see it around the world. Got to start thinking on an energetic level. You know what I mean? Got to start thinking, like, yeah, we're in the physical. You know what I mean? Shouts out Mother Earth. We're in the physical. We, we've, we've been manifested into the physical. We have to respect it. We have to show love. That's why you always ground yourself. You see what I'm saying? But we, we have to start thinking on a higher level. You know what I mean? We have to realize that, you know what I mean? You can talk to yourself inside your head. How the fuck is that even possible? If sound has to have a vibration. You see what I'm saying? It's, 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 so, it's so much shit that people don't think about that makes them not be able to ascend their consciousness. And that shit starts with wellness. That shit starts inside the crib. That's what I'm saying. If, if, if every day we arguing, if every day we fighting each other, if every day is who did this, who did that, she did that, he did that, this, this, this race did this, this. If that's, if that's all it is every motherfucking day, all we're going to do is live in chaos. We're not going to ascend nowhere. We're not going to, we're not going to get nowhere. You know what I mean? We're going to be stagnant. Like when you really think about this, I, I think about this shit when I think about the damn church, man. You know what I mean? No disrespect to the church. You know what I mean? I, I get people got to people gotta go down their journey and figure out um, how they're going to get to their level of consciousness, the way they're going to get to it. But it's like these niggas have been doing this shit for how long? How many thousands of years? And these niggas' consciousness is on the same level? Shit sounds like a hustle to me. You know what I mean? If I was a hustler and I was hustling spirituality, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what the fuck I would do. I would motherfucking... I would, I would, I would give you bird crumbs... You see what I'm saying? To make you be like, oh, yeah, this shit is lit. This shit is real. But they never tell you they never tell you the truth. Then the niggas ask you for tithes and offering. But niggas' consciousness is not raising. Like, I ain't never... Niggas do prayer circles. I ain't never seen a meditation circle. I ain't never seen the pastor tell these niggas to meditate. You know what I mean? To go within. Yeah, niggas will say, oh, yeah, the kingdom is within. 
how the motherfucker supposed to find it? How the motherfucker supposed to find the goddamn kingdom if you're not going to tell the nigga how to get to the goddamn kingdom? And that's why we tell the nigga, you got to meditate. You got to be silent. Prayer is when you're asking. Prayer is, you know what I mean, like law of attraction. Like you're putting, it, you're putting the energy out there. You're trying to attract it to yourself. You're, you're, you're going outside of yourself to ask something that is higher than you or energy or power that you feel like is higher than you to bring something into your life. Meditation is when your ass is being quiet. You're no longer, you're no longer asking. You're listening. You see what I'm saying? You're listening to the response. You're tuning into yourself. You're quieting out the world. You know what I mean? Stop all the hustle and bustle. That fast paced shit, the fast paced shit is to keep you distracted because when you slow down, you think. You see what I'm saying? That's why, I, like me personally, I, iso I isolate myself often. You know what I mean? Because I have to slow down. I got to think about shit. You know what I mean? I got to analyze shit. I can't, I'm not with the fucking every day just. Run, 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 You know what I mean? And never be able to think because if I'm doing that, that means somebody's thinking for me. And if somebody's thinking for me, that means I'm not living the life that I want to live. You see what I'm saying? So it's like at 24 hours out the day, if a motherfucker can't separate for an hour, you know what I mean? And just be still. You know what I mean? Just quiet the mind. Quiet the soul. Just stop the hustle and bustle. Separate from the, from the, from the world. Don't listen to no music. Don't, I mean, unless you need some frequencies or something to... To help you get into that calm state or that, that you need to be in. But it's like, just separate. Go somewhere and just be quiet. That's why some people, that's why majority of people that, that be on this on the spiritual shit, they go into the woods. You see what I'm saying? Just listen to the herbs, sit in the grass, listen, you know what I mean, to the crickets and the birds and, and the shit like that. Like, separate. You know what I mean? That's why it's, it's a difference between, like, the city life and, like, you know what I mean, country, country life type shit or, or suburban life. You see what I'm saying? Because the city life is hustle and bustle all day. City don't sleep. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's hard for you to detach and, and be able to um, ground yourself. You know what I mean? Like walking barefooted in the grass, um, hugging trees. Sounds crazy, but it's real. Motherfucking, um, of course, meditation, uh, swimming, being in water, spiritual baths, anything that connects you to elements that are from the earth that you realize is outside of you that you did not create. Like, you see what I'm saying? To, to realize like, damn, this shit is a, it's a, it's really a bigger picture. Like, you know what I mean? Somebody birthed me. I came out of somebody. Somebody, you know what I mean? Did the, did the grown folks, you know what I mean? And then I was here. Now I'm here. You see what I'm saying? And, and I got kids. And you know what I mean? Like, like it's, just, it's a big-ass ecosystem. It's a big-ass motherfucking galaxy. Like, this shit is outside of me. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, I feel like people not doing that enough. And then the people that really know, like these religious people, these spiritual teachers, these gurus... You know what I mean? Not all of them, because I, I, got, I got people that I personally fuck with. You see what I'm saying? Sado Guru, Booker T. Coleman, Tariq Nasheed, you know what I mean? Billy Carson, um, Bashar. You mean, it's a lot of people I personally fuck with, but it's a lot of these people that are using spirituality as a hustle. They're using consciousness as a hustle, and they're not helping the people really get to where they need to go. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, that shit is shown, though. You know what I mean? It's shown because every business, and this is what I'm talking about, correspondence, as, as within, so without, as above, so below. Look at, look at how the business and the industries and the um, society, the capitalistic society that we live in, and look how it's ran. You see what I'm saying? Like, I was talking to my brother the other day. I was like, you ain't never heard no job offer you maximum wage. It's minimum wage. What the fuck is that? Why would you want to give me minimum? You see what I'm saying? Can, can I know the median? Can I know the? Can I know what I could be making in the middle? It's like you see what I'm saying. Like the whole system is set up to bird feed, paint an illusion, distract. You know what I mean? And, that, and that's just a problem. You know what I mean? And you can see that. You can see that shit when you go out into the world. So you can imagine what's going on in people's households. You can imagine what's going on up there with the one percenters and the elite because you can see it. You, I mean, basically what I'm saying is you don't. You don't have to imagine. Is what I'm really saying because you can see it. You can, you can go out into the world and be like, okay, so this is what's going on up there. You know what I mean? Because as above, so below. These niggas is moving shisty. If, if, if McDonald's is a billion dollar company and they arguing about whether they want to pay people $15 an hour when inflation is going through the fucking roof, then the niggas, they at least got to be wicked. Gots to be. You see what I'm saying? Because it's, 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 like, so it's like what you want these niggas to have bare minimum. You just want them to be able to work, put gas in a whip, entertain themselves for a little bit, go to sleep and come back to work. That's modern day slavery. You see what I'm saying? And... All, all that shit is spilling over. You know what I mean? This is, this is the time of enlightenment, age of enlightenment, removing the veil, you know what I mean? Cutting the light on, cleaning this shit in the skeletons that was in the closet, you know what I mean? Addressing the shadows, because niggas don't like to do shadow work. Niggas just like to be light, 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 light. You know what I mean? Don't want to address trauma and past problems and all that good shit. You know what I mean? But that's what makes you strong, though. It's because like those are, those are your virtues. 
You feel what I'm saying? That's Those are the tests that you had to go through so that you can be able to relate to other people. You know what I mean? It's like your, your story your story can save somebody 10 years from now because you went and did your shadow work. You went, and, you went in there, you cleaned up your closet. You see what I'm saying? You got them skeletons about it there. You addressed your demons. You said, fuck all that. You know what I mean? You're stronger than that. You're outside of that. Since you was able to do it, 10 years from now, somebody's going to be going through the same shit because nothing's new under the sun. The shit, it just repeats. You see what I'm saying? So somebody's going to be going through that. But your testimony and, and, and your journey can save a life. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's how interconnected we really are. You know what I mean? And it's like the law of one has been forgotten, man. The law, the law of one has been forgotten. And, it, and it was, it's planned like that. You know what I mean? Like while we down here worried about race and fucking shit... Like the shit they they that's that's what the elite want us to be worried about. They want us to be down here fighting and shit. So we're not worried about what the fuck they doing. Why they why are they only offering minimum wage? Why is the school curriculum not changed? Why motherfucking ain't nobody on a on a grand scale consciousness growing? It's just the rich getting richer and the poor getting poor. You know what I mean? Gentrification, redlining. You know the whole nine. You know what I mean? That's a, this is the type of shit that we have to worry about. But I also understand that people can't worry about it because people are worried about their well being. You know what I mean? They, 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 they worried about bills coming first. You know what I mean? They worried about their stress. They worried about their relationship. They worried about, you know what I mean, their relationship with their parents and their friends and their family and their money and all that. You know what I mean? So it's hard to, to really expect somebody to go out there and try to be on like, oh, oh yeah, we're going to save the world. You know what I mean? When they like, nigga, nigga barely can save ourselves. You see what I'm saying? So I understand that. I get that. You know what I mean? And it's like... The therapist, though, the psychiatrists, the doctors, the pastors, you know, the motivational speakers, you know what I mean? The wellness coaches, all these motherfuckers that have put titles on themselves saying that they signed up for the ship to be a healer, to go around and teach people. They not doing a fucking job. And, they're not, and I'm, not, I'm not talking about the ones that's doing their job. Shouts out the ones that's doing their job. We talking about on a grand scale here. You see what I'm saying? We talking about on a grand scale. Like the Board of Education should have been realized like, damn, we might need some type of spirituality or some self-defense or some fucking um, wellness type classes in school so that our kids can become better people as they get older. But the fear is, excuse me, what they fear is the people waking up so much that they don't want to be a part of the system. You see what I'm saying? Because some people... You know what I mean? I remember when I first woke up, I was on some bullshit. You know what I mean? I was I was definitely on the I was on the rah rah shit. You see what I'm saying? But you know, wisdom when you, when you ask you seek yourself out. So when you ask for wisdom, you're gonna be put into into certain situations where you gain wisdom. You know what I mean? And wisdom is 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 gained through experience. So that I means you have to experience a lot of shit. You know what I mean? So I know for a fact, like, yeah, it's going to be some people that wake up and realize what the fuck is really going on in society on some red pill, blue pill shit. And they're going to crash out, commit suicide or just start killing and fucking shit up. So you got to slow roll it because if you just unplug everybody at once, it's going to be pandemonium. Everybody's going to go fucking crazy and it's going to be on some straight purge shit. But it's like to slow roll it, you know what I mean, is, is, is absolutely necessary right now because... We're at a point where, my nigga, just, just look around. Just go outside. Just cut the TV on. Cut the news on. Just get on Facebook. Get on Instagram. Get on TikTok. Just look at what the fuck people are doing, man. You see what I'm saying? You would think that we are only out here to fucking play around and, and, and wiggle our hips and, 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 and argue and fight and fucking... Like, you would think that we only out here to do mundane shit. You would think that we're still animalistic. That's, that's what... If, if, I, if I was a higher species... And I was to come to Earth, and I was to analyze Earth and look at the motherfuckers that's on Earth. I'd be like, yo, these niggas are animals. They're just a little bit smarter. That's it. You know what I mean? That, that you, 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 you would think that these niggas, what's the difference between these niggas and a monkey? They doing the same fucking shit. They just got better technology. You see what I'm saying? That's it. They could use their brains a little better. And we're supposed to be way past that, man. We're supposed to be on a completely different level to the... To the, to the you know what I mean? I can't, even, I can't even explain how much further that we're supposed to be because it's the, word, the words aren't even, you know what I mean, able, coming to me right now. But it's like, we're supposed to be way past this level of consciousness, man. You know what I mean? It's actually very, like, disrespectful to, to, to our species and our being that we're still on this goddamn level of consciousness as a whole. You know what I mean? And that the ones that are um, withholding this information from the public are definitely um, going to have to take a seat 
you know what I mean, and allow uh, divine people to lead because the wicked has been leading for too long. You know what I mean? The, the, the wicked have been in position of power for too long. And this and this and this is an energy thing. This ain't no this ain't no race. This ain't no species. This ain't no this ain't no oh, male or female. This is an energetic thing. You, you can you could be standing next to someone that looks just like you. That that is the complete opposite of you. Straight, straight, wicked, straight, demonic. Don't don't want no type of positive straight parasite. You know what I mean? That you got to be able to see with your third eye. You got you you got to see. You got to not look at life like it's only from the two physical eyes. You know what I mean? You got to be able to see with the eye of the mind, the eye of the heart, the eye of the uh, the gut instinct. You see what I'm saying? You, you got to be able to see with this shit. But through the food, through the through the propaganda, through the TV, through the shows, they calcified and 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 damaged and you know what I mean? Fucked up so many uh, people's ability to be able to do that. That niggas can't even fathom how to do that. You know what I mean? You tell them about the third eye, and and, you, and they telling you you demonic, you you in the Illuminati. That's how fuck yo. It's chess, not checkers. And you know what I mean? I'm a I'm a I'm a um, I'm a competitive person, so I, su I salute. You know what I mean? I got respect for competition. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers is nice now. Nah. Don't get me wrong, but the the system is so crazy that these niggas have convinced niggas that their way their way is evil. But they're doing it to you, man. So who's evil? Like you, you gotta, you gotta understand what I'm saying, man. It's like you, you think these niggas don't know astrology? You think these niggas don't know when the when the planetary system and the energies is gonna be a certain way? Like, come on, man. What the fuck do you think the Lions Gate portal is? Come on, how do you think they know that type of shit? You don't, you don't think they got? You can go down a block and see a psychic and store on the side of the corner right now. They telling you they playing with spirits. You see what I'm saying? They just not telling you how to do it. They telling you that you gotta bow down to a nigga and you gotta you gotta go without you gotta go outside of yourself to to be able to even uh have a good afterlife. Fuck fuck your life here. They telling you obey so that you can have a good afterlife while they're running around doing everything that they wanna fucking do and uh, yo, come on man, I'm trying to talk to y'all, man. You know what I mean? I'm trying to try to tell y'all what the fuck is going on out here, man. You know what I mean? And I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you to go um I'm not telling you to go jump into the water if you're not ready to swim because you will drown. Okay? Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said it. Jen said it here. Motherfucker, don't jump in the water if you ain't ready to swim because you will drown. Just, yeah, water's all cool and shit, but that motherfucker can create a hurricane, a tsunami. You know what I mean? Water can boil and burn you. and You know what I mean? Water, water it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't sweet. You know what I mean? So thinking like, oh, I'm going to go down this spiritual journey <laughs> and it's, it's going to be all fucking... You're fucking candy and fucking, yeah, sugar and spice and everything nice. No, that's not what the fuck it is. You know what I mean? And, and, if, and if that's the picture that you have painted or that you're going down, then you're not doing it correctly. And that's what I'm talking about, about the shadow work. Shadow work, shadow work hurts. You know what I mean? That shit ain't fun. You know what I mean? Now, now, the, now, the, now the, the gift of when you complete it is, is fun. And when you realize the lessons and you get the wisdom and you know what I mean? You can walk in your power and all that. Yeah, that's just lit. But to be able to like, okay, like, like somebody that's an alcoholic. You know what I mean? They got to go through withdrawals to do their shadow work. You know what I mean? Somebody that's an addict on anything, they got to go through withdrawals. They like body fucked up, throwing up, shaking, get sick. You know what I mean? Eight, eight, whole, whole shit just fucked up. You know what I mean? That's, but, but them realizing that the, the addiction is what's fucking up their life was the shadow work. Them looking themselves in the mirror and being like, damn, bro, I could be a better person if I put the heroin down. You see what I'm saying? And they was willing to do it, so they sent their body through that, through that shock and through that turmoil, and they fought through, and they went through the withdrawals, and they didn't relapse and all that. They did their shadow work. It wasn't fun, you know what I mean? But they did it. So then now they, they can go into a situation and not be easily manipulated because their mind is stronger. You, you see what I'm saying? Because they're always going to be able to, to pull strength from their past experiences. Like, nah, man, you're not going to convince me to do this dumb ass shit. You know what I mean? Because I'm strong enough to know I don't want to do that because I was strong enough to quit heroin. You see what I'm saying? I was strong enough to put the bottle down. I was strong enough to stop watching porn. I was strong enough to, you know what I mean? Stop whatever the fuck is affecting niggas' lives. Everybody, everybody got some shit going on. You know what I mean? Everybody got some shit. Everybody got some skeletons in their closet. Everybody got blood on their hands. Everybody got some shadows. That's the part of that's the whole part of the damn. You know what I mean? It's the whole point. You know what I mean? It's 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 it's, it's, a, it's like a school. It's like a school for spirits. You know what I mean? Your soul and your spirit pop up in this bitch. Man, you gotta go to school. You gotta live life. 
And you either learn or you don't. You either ascend or you don't. But we at a point where it's time for the majority and the masses to be back on ascension. Like, you got you to gotta understand what I'm saying. It was a point in time where ignorance was like, that was the, that was abnormal. Like, damn, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga ain't hip. This nigga don't. This nigga don't know about it, about his energies. This nigga don't know about his cipher. This nigga don't know about, you know what I mean, correspondence. That's when it was a time where to be uneducated and to be unwise was like, what the fuck? You see what I'm saying? Now it's the complete opposite. You see what I'm saying? Now the fucking wise nigga is the weirdo. Now the motherfucking conscious nigga is the weirdo and ignorance is praised. That shit is as backwards and that shit has to stop. You see what I'm saying? Because we, we have to stop being so selfish and living in our lower three chakras you see what I'm saying? And, and get to our higher, uh, our higher four, man. Got to start living through the heart. Start living, you know what I mean? Through the, through the third eye, contacting with the spiritual realm, contacting with source, you know what I mean? Moving with love, you know what I mean? Light and love, you know what I mean? But what, what you have to understand is that from darkness came light, man. You know what I mean? So even when you get to light, you had to go through the dark. So the niggas, the niggas, the niggas that think that they was born into light and they're just in the light and everything is, that's a false light, my nigga. You know what I mean? Because the 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 first addiction or first motherfucking uh, problem that that comes across a motherfucker is not gonna be able to handle it because a nigga never went in the dark. You see what I'm saying? That's why and niggas don't know what they're doing in the dark. They're doing some wicked shit out there. You know what I mean? These niggas in the dark doing some crazy shit. And I can tell you that right there, man. They doing some wild shit. You know what I mean? And motherfuckers don't know because they won't go. You know what I mean? And I'm not literally saying like, oh, go to the hood if you're from the suburbs. That's not, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about do your studies. You don't, you don't gotta fucking put your hand on a burning stove to to understand like yo that shit's hot. I don't want to burn myself. You, you you see what I'm saying? I'm saying do your studies, do your research. You know what I mean? Don't let somebody convince you that their way of life is the way of life just because they said it. Take it with a grain of salt. Listen, learn, be an ominous. Be willing to learn from everybody, but also be smart enough to go do your own uh, research and double check and cross reference and get other people's opinions to. To where you're not moving arrogant and you're not moving um, with, a, with a false um, pride and self. You know what I mean? To the point where you got down, you just cocky type shit. You know what I mean? You don't want to move like that. You know what I mean? Because that shit that make a nigga resent you. You know what I mean? That, that People won't fuck with you after that. You know what I mean? And it's like, that's the bigger, that's the, that's, the, that's the message. You know what I mean? For today. You know what I mean? So my whole point is, if, you, if, you, if you're listening to this and you listen to all, if you listen to all of this, all 33 minutes... You know what I mean? Um, go out there and be some light for somebody, man. Go spread some love, man. Go do some, go do some shadow work. Look yourself in the mirror. Find out at least one thing that you think if you didn't do it or if you better did, you would be a better person and address that shit. You see what I'm saying? Just start somewhere. If it's if it's if it's if it's weight, shit, do 50 crunches. You know what I mean? And 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 just keep it up. If it's if it's intelligence, go watch a webinar. Go go read a book or, or a couple chapters of a book. You know what I mean? Just start somewhere. Just start. A million mile journey starts with one step, man. Shouts out Booker T. Coleman. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's the truth. You know what I mean? You got to start somewhere. So just if you're listening to this, just know that you're worthy. You, you know what I mean? You're a special person. You're here for a reason. You know what I mean? And ain't nothing in the shadow that can't get clean. You hear me? Peace and blessings. Yes, sir.